With the invention of the automobile, city's footprints began to grow wider, introducing us to what started out as desirable suburban communities, but ultimately became urban sprawl. Dr. Karen Lee, a healthy built environment and social determinants of health specialist, was brought into Edmonton by Christensen Developments, Mint Health, and Holos Productivity recently for a walkability design workshop discussing the health and affordability benefits of densified nodes or urban villages in connecting neighborhoods. Starting at around 2011, preferences by residents changed. And more people started to say, in fact the majority now say, they want smart growth communities as opposed to sprawl communities. They want to have choices. We took the initiative of bringing in Dr. Karen Lee and we're doing a workshop tomorrow at McEwen University around urban design and walkability and the benefits for public health. And then one of the interesting new groups in Edmonton in the development sphere is the Urban Land Institute and the ULI sort of suggested that they have a breakfast type of uh, event for their organization the day before our workshop. Very cleverly, I would suggest, they selected the Ritchie Market or Four Corners area. The central Edmonton neighborhood of Ritchie, once home to the Gainers Meatpacking Plant, consisted of small single-family houses for the workers. After the plant closed, Christensen Developments added energy and renewal to Ritchie with their Creekside community built on the plant site in the 1990s. Christensen's new active adult multi-family projects in South Central Edmonton then continued in nearby Avonmore with The Conservatory, a redevelopment of the old Allen Green nursing home site in the early 2000s, followed then by the Southwoods Village Redevelopment Project in adjoining Hazeldean, adding energy-efficient seniors housing to affordable family rental townhomes, leaving the community as an example of a more walkable, connected, inclusive, intergenerational, healthy neighborhood. It's not a matter of if we become disabled, but when because all of us are going to age and at some point we're all going to have some sort of limitation. On September 30th, the first ever Connectivity Healthy Walkable City Workshop and Walk was held at Grant McEwen's Paul Byrne Hall near Christensen's Railtown Urban Village with North Edge and Columbia Avenue community stakeholders. So this weekend's event is really important because it's going to bring together a lot of people from different partnering sectors and we really need to work together if we're going to make this happen. How we design and build our communities is actually the critical factor in whether people are able to have health and well-being in their everyday lives. Together, everyone brainstormed and discussed new ideas and concepts to create connectivity and more healthy and walkable neighborhoods in the north edge of downtown. This culminated with an actual walk down Columbia 105th Avenue, then 104th Avenue, through the Ice District, the 104th Street Market, and finally 96th Street Armature Park. It's good for our developments. The vet, are we doing the right things to get outside uh, expertise? And the things that Karen's do, of course, is she's very familiar with the local context. She's originally from St. Albert, but she spent uh, 14 years in Manhattan working on walkability projects. And that's connected her to a network around North America and the globe, really, of best practices and what's going on in public health and walkability and urban design. It certainly is good for a real estate developer, in my opinion, to think in those terms, particularly one who thinks long term. And I obviously would suggest that we do that, that's our MO. And then public goes, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. They're not just trying to make a nickel off me, they're trying to make the living environment better for me and my family. And what we hope uh, is that develops empathy and respect, and that we just feel a lot better about ourselves and have a lot more fun and certainly a lot more satisfaction.